Welcome to my YouTube channel, Natty the Coder. So today we as our very first lecture on JavaScript and we're gonna be learning about JavaScript. It's gonna be a very extensive course. Uh, it's a very beginner to advanced course. So if you don't have any prior knowledge to JavaScript, so don't worry about that. We are gonna be covering each and everything. We're gonna be starting from scratch. And um, yeah, we're gonna be do, uh, talking about the very basic stuff and then we'll go to the to the fundamentals and uh, go to some uh, and touch some advanced topics here as well so yeah let's just dive into it so first of all prerequisites um, there should be few things uh, before starting this course that I would suppose if not then it's fine as well so HTML so prior to starting the this course this JavaScript course you I'm, su I'm supposing that you uh, would know HTML and you would know like very basic stuff on HTML like how to create an HTML file what are HTML tags how to create and write uh, HTML tags and uh, also on the CSS side what is a CSS uh, what is internal CSS and different basic CSS properties like display color and fonts etc so why do we need that uh, since we're gonna be writing our code in HTML uh, JavaScript code and we're going to be manipulating HTML and maybe some manip we'll do some manipulation on the CSS side as well. So that's why we will need some knowledge on that. As If not, I think we're going to be touching a very basic stuff on the CSS and HTML, so that should be fine as well. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, we'll go through the outline of this course, uh, what we are going to be covering throughout this course, and what are all of the cool stuff that we're going to be learning and this um tutorial so an introduction ex um, an introduction to javascript and uh, what uh, is javascript how it came into being and you know the very basic stuff about javascript uh, we're going to be reading about some manuals and specifications um uh, how we're going to be writing our code we're going to be talk talking about different code editors and which code editor i'm using and of course for debugging um we're going to be talking about the developer console and then we're going to start with the JavaScript fundamentals and write all our first hell word program in JavaScript. Uh, we're going to talk about code structure, how you can better structure your code. Then variables, data types, interaction like alert, prompt, and com confirm. So if you have some prior knowledge to other, other programming languages like C++, Java, or other... So, uh, these these kind of the variables and data types kind of topics will, will sound similar to those uh, to those um, because all of the languages behind the hills are um, are similar kind of but they they have, they have the core same concepts but uh, different syntax so uh, that that is in that way some kind of similar. So yeah, we'll talk about some type conversions and basic operators like maths and, and maths and um, we'll do some mathematics as well there. Um, you'll do comparisons, um, how do you compare different variables and values of the variables and all that stuff. Conditional branch, branching like FLs and um, using ternary operators, the logical operators, knowledge coalescing, some cool stuff that JavaScript gives you. Uh, we're going to be talking about loops, while loop, power loop, and or do while loops, and all that cool stuff. And the switch statements and functions and the functions expression, or arrow functions. What is the difference? And uh, when to use the normal function versus the arrow functions, and um, it's, we'll be covering some other JavaScript special things. And yeah, we're going to be talking about and focusing on code quality topics as well. Yeah, we're going to be talking about debugging the browser. Coding style, how you should write your code, uh, you know, uh, for better readability, how to write the comments, uh, what is Ninja coding, and automated testing with Mocha, of course, when you, are, when you write some code, you want to make sure the code quality. So for that, we write some, um, some tests, uh, so we will learn how to write tests uh, for your JavaScript code using Mocha, or maybe we will preferably be using Jest as well. Uh, we'll be talking about polyfills and transpilers. We're, we're going to be talking about objects. That's a very um, uh, complex data type. It's not really complex, but yeah, it's interesting uh, data types. Uh, in JavaScript, we're going to be talking about the object references and copying, garbage collection, um, some basic ideas and all that. 
object methods, you know, constructor, operator, optional chaining objects, what is optional chaining, how we win, what do we use it for, uh, simple, symbol type, it's a data type, and object to primitive conversion, how you convert an object to a, a sing, simple types like um, uh, string or number or whatever. Uh, we are going to be talking about data types. We're we'll covering data types, methods of primitives, uh, like different string methods, number methods, and all that. We're going to be talking about specifically numbers, strings, arrays, array methods, attributes, maps, and set weak maps and weak sets, and all that stuff. We're going to be talking about some object functions, uh, destructuring. How do you destructure an object and all that? Dead in time, you know, ma uh, manipulating or dealing with dead in time functions, the JSON method, how you exchange data between different servers, uh, and, you know, sending the data or exchanging the data. Um, then we are going to be talking about advanced working with functions like recursion and stack, rest parameters and spread syntax, variable scope, closure, the old variable, uh, what this is and how we use it the global object, function object, the new function syntax, how do we write function now in JavaScript, and then scheduling, of course, like set timeout and set interval to execute your code at a certain time, uh, decorators and forwarding, f function binding, arrow functions, um, we are going to be talking about, we're going to be covering or talking about some advanced topic on the arrow functions, how is it different from the conventional way of you know, writing your function, then we're going to be talking about object properties, configuration, the property flags and descriptors, getter and setter for your object properties. We're going to be talking about prototypes, inheritance, and JavaScript is object oriented programming language as well. So we're going to be talking about some prototype inheritance, native prototypes, and then some methods and objects that, that we will cover. Of course, we, we do have classes uh, in JavaScript and we'll know and learn about classes in JavaScript, class inheritance, Static properties and methods and clauses, uh, private and protected properties and methods, um, extending built-in class and all that, and then class checking instance of you know um, instance of old class and if you want to find out the type of class and all that and make sense of course. Uh, then of course if you're you're writing your code then you have uh, to you know better handle your core uh, code with uh, error handling you should have better. Uh, error handling. So, uh, how do we handle errors in JavaScript? We're using the try catch, custom errors. How you can throw your custom errors and then handle them. And uh, then, of course, there's a very cool topic which is called promises and async await. But first, diving that we'll just discuss the callbacks. What are callbacks? And um, we'll discuss or we'll talk about callbacks. We'll discuss then the promise and promises chaining and error handling with promises if we have some errors how we can handle those errors and then the promise api promisification micro task async await you know all that cool stuff don't worry about all this all that stuff that i'm talking about because we're going to cover each and every single topic one by one so just make sure that you follow along the videos and all that stuff just not get distracted and then there is another cool feature of JavaScript that is called generators and advanced iteration. Uh, we're going to be talking about generators, async iteration and generators, uh, modules, like uh, how we can divide our JavaScript into different modules and how we can export and import modules, what are dynamic imports, you know, and all this stuff and some extra stuff like proxy and reflect and evolve it function just to run your code string uh, and evolve it and then uh, JavaScript coring and reference types big integer uh, we have integer data type and then we have big integer data type so we'll talk about in more details about this and then we have document uh, you know uh, browser environment and specification DOM tree what is document object model and uh, or how we can walk through DOM you know the page that you see in the browser we call it DOM and um, then searching and finding some certain elements using get element or query selector 
and then the node properties type tagging consents etc there are a lot of node properties and attributes and properties we're going to be talking about that modifying the document or manipulating the document uh, based on your need then we are going to be talking about and covering some styles and classes, element size and scrolling, window size and scrolling, coordinates, you know, mouse coordinates and all that stuff. Uh, then we'll be talking about some events. So we have like different kinds of events that we'll be talking about. So some browser events and, and then, you know, bubbling and capturing uh, the events and if what is event delegation and then browser default action of course dispatching custom events how you can create your custom events and then dispatch them so uh we have ui events as well of course just like mouse events um you know mouse over mouse enter mouse leave uh drag and drop mouse events pointer events and the keyboard you know key down key up and input events and then scrolling events of course then we have uh, forms like uh, if you use a website you have different kind of forms for example registration form login forms we're going to be talking about those kind of forms and how you uh, control those forms and how you focus and learn form and change input cut a copy a paste a value uh, from one input and into another and then listen to some events and then send that data on cement and all that stuff uh, then we are going to be talking about some document resource loading, how you load resource into your document or your, your page and uh, how do you listen to different events on the DOM, for example, when the, the, the page is downloaded or before it is unloaded or, you know, unload function and all that stuff. We have different uh, attributes for scripts like async and defer, uh, resource loading, unload or uh, an, an error as well if you have some error on the service. And then some extra stuff we are going to be covering like mutation observer, uh, selection and range, event loop, macro tasks and macro tasks, frames and windows, of course, some kind of animations, pop ups and windows methods, cross windows communication, click jacking attack, like some hacking tool, you know, stuff. And then binary data and files, we're going to be talking about some covering some uh, file stuff, text decoder and text encoder, blob. Uh, file and file reader API and all that stuff. Then we're going to be talking about some network requests, how you can send data from, uh, you know, to a, to a server or receive data from a server. Uh, we're going to be using fetch API and, you know, what is form data and how we can send the form data, like a login or registration data to a server. Uh, how we can check for the download progress or upload and, you know, how we can ab abort a uh, a request to a server, uh, how we can make cross origin requests, for example, from uh, www.example.com to www.facebook.com. That's really not possible, but just an, for an example right now. So um, we're going to be talking about Fetch API. That's going to be covering all those cool stuff. URL objects, what are what are URL objects? And then, of course, XML HTTP requests. Uh, that is basically now replaced by Fetch, but we can still use it resumable file upload or what if you start start upload up, up, for uploading files and then pause it and then we can resume it to, of course long polling web sockets and uh, server sent events and all that then we, we're going to be talking about storing data in the browser like you know how to store data using cookies local storage and xdb and how they're different from each other uh, some cool animation stuff bizarre curves, CSS animations, JavaScript animations. We're going to be talking about some web components, you know, from the orbital height, custom elements, shadow DOM, what is shadow DOM and template element, shadow DOM slot, composition, shadow DOM styling and all that stuff, uh, shadow DOM event, events. So these are the cool stuff that JavaScript, we're going to be covering this in this JavaScript tutorial. Also, the last topic they're going to be covering in the JavaScript tour is a regular expression that is a very powerful feature and um, uh, most of the modern languages support it. So, you know, we're going to be talking about pattern and flags, character classes, Unicode, anchors, multi-line mode of anchors, word boundary, escaping special characters, set and ranges, quantifiers, greeting lazy quantifiers, Capturing groups, back references and patterns, alteration, alternation, look ahead and look behind, catastrophic backtracking and sticky flag, you know, searching for some uh, on a specific position. Uh, methods, 
of regular expression in string what are different methods that regular expression provide you for to you know match your your string or you know do some things on through the regular expression um so yeah i think those are all of the cool topics that we are going to be covering in this delicate tutorial just make sure that you follow along each and every single video uh and uh, yeah i hope that you will learn a lot of things in this tutorial and we are going to be starting from the very scratch please like and share the video and uh, subscribe to the channel and make sure to press the bell icon for future updates and uh, until then i'll see you in the next lecture